Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. This is quite a card. The whole world can gossip about you. And if you don't take it personally, you are immune. You are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 108, NASDAQ up 115, SPs up 12 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $4.50 trading at 2,038 an ounce. We have silver down 24 cents, $25.65 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck 17, $72.55 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 21 ticks, trading 115.26. The 30-year up a full point at 130.19 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 134 ticks, trading 101.471. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 134. And the British pounds at 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, if we look at the SPY first, what you're going to see, you get a sideways move, you know. Bottom line, you know, you have some volume here, though. I mean, we did 63 million shares. Um, that's a consolidation at, at its highs, okay? So it's like, okay, you're still going to go for this high up here? Yeah, I suspect it can, you know, the last high that we had established out here. Well, what, it, what has happened is this. We've had two lower highs thus far. You know, so we'll see whether it can make it up to that 417. You're at 412, 290 right now. The Qs are a different story. The Qs, bottom line, look like they want to go higher. You get volume coming in them. You know, it's been an up and down market all day, no doubt. You know, you had the price spread in them, but you're pushing highs and you're pushing it with volume. Um, you know, so that's telling me the Qs want to get the higher price. And if we take a look at this on a weekly basis, we pull this up. You know, the swing point that's sticking out here still is at that, uh, geez, it's 10 points higher, man. I mean, that's uh, 334, you know. So that's what, that's, that, those cues get a different animal happening in them. Let's go inside the NDX today and just look at what's in, what's in them. So inside the NDX today, you get Datadog up 8%, Illumin is up 7%, Zscale is up 7%. Google's up four. Taken away from it here, B and B's down ten. You get PayPal off four. You get uh, Walmart Boots down two. Marriott's off two. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have with gold contract out here? You know, you're down four bucks. That's really a sideways move when you start talking about where we are. You get uh, oh, this is twenty. This is a good move. Yeah, this is really big volume. Okay, we're still pushing highs with volume. This is good. This is, yeah, we get 2 million shares, 2 million contracts here. 2, no, 237,000. Yeah, but that's that's good contract volume. So you, you, gold's still in an ABC structure on the way up. Now you're pushing highs again, and you're pushing with volume. We go to the dollar, and we take a look at the dollar. What you have inside the dollar, and you can see that the, the dollar is running the markets. Right? Well, the dollar and interest rate structure. But you can see when we, when we start, let me put this on an intraday chart so you can see how this shakes out. On an intraday chart, what you're going to see here is that, you know, the dollar, bottom line, started out at a price, was it was at 9 o'clock? Yeah. So the, the dollar started out, it was at uh, approximately the 101.700 area. Um, bottom line is that when that started giving it up on price, what you had is that the S&P, you know, bottom line, went topside in a, in a huge way. And, you know, the, the correlation is just so direct, okay? So put this back and you're going to see what we're talking about here. You know, the S&P... The futures there, we went to from the 41.27, got all the way up to 41.73. As the dollar come off its lows, that's when we went from the 41.73 all the way down 
with a 4112. Now what has happened again is that the dollar has given it up again. Bottom line, that gives the market a little more breathing room. So, you know, this dollar is going to get really intriguing, you know, because what has happened with the dollar, you can see that what the dollar has done is that, you know, it has made higher lows. It's pretty subtle, but, you know, when we take a look at this, you're going to see that every one of these lows have been higher since going back to the April 15th area. You know, excluding going back to January. That is the low. But then we came in with one, two, three, four. This is the fifth higher low. Now, we don't have a higher high. Okay, so I suspect, though, this 106 is game again. You know, because... Yeah, that's that's we'll see where it shakes out, but it, it's 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 a real tricky one at this area. But that's what it looks like. But we have the wide price spread out here, um, which you know, if you're trading both sides of the market, or even one side of the market, whatever side you like, uh, bulls and bears got everything they need out here today. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, um, we had uh, Tesla. Tesla's flat. Advanced Micro's up a buck seventy. We had uh, Amazon up 350. Amazon's moving. Let's take a look at Amazon. What is happening here? Yep. See that that it wants that spike up there. Amazon has a high volume up there at that 114 area. So that's where I suspect it wants to go. And I'm sure you know, depending on how long you've listed, folks. Okay. Uh, it was a real bummer. We lost our German Shepherd yesterday. Anyway. Harley, uh, 13 and a half years old. You've seen him because he's been here beside me some days. Anyway. Uh, it's always tough. That was my seventh German Shepherd. I've had a German Shepherd since I've been 14. Insane. Anyway. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, down 101, NASDAQ up 118, coming right back.